Hello my friends and welcome back to our blind let's play of your turn to die death game by majority my name is Fatless Bear this is your story based gaming channel and today we are continuing on after the crazy start to chapter three uh we met a bunch of dolls we fought a monster we defeated the monster Anzu was almost killed or whatever I'm not I mean I was told by a shit of mist who uh once again binge played the entire game after watching us play this game it's it's not the first time she's done that and uh uh she, she's awesome go check her out sometime she does uh streams from four to six eastern on youtube uh if you want to link to her channel go to my main page and scroll down and you'll see her name but anyway uh so yeah ashenda told me that she had to replay the monster fight three times because uh she kept losing to the monster so Hey, are we going to lose to a monster in this chapter? It's possible. Hopefully, we'll do our best and just let the story play out where it goes. Quick side note before we begin. I want to let you guys know that when I say this is our story-based game channel, um... I mean that. Uh, I, I really love hearing your input. Don't forget that Your Turn to Die, Day of the Tentacle, Skies of Arcadia, Silent Hill, these are all games that were actually uh, recommended by other viewers. So don't feel like you, you can't give advice or feedback onto the channel. I want that feedback and advice. I want to see this channel grow and I want to see us become a really cool community. Happy Gem X told us uh, that the voice of Anzu was a little off. Uh, to them and you know what I can't say that you're wrong because uh, I'm running out of voices and I just gave her like this spooky voice the Ooh, type thing because I mean we're in a graveyard for crying out loud uh, but I will try to see if I can try to adjust her voice in some way next time I see her I'll just go with the first thing that pops into my head it's not the first time we've done this we did this with Kutaro earlier on as well uh, so, yeah, I, I really do like your feedback. Uh, bring it on. For now, let's continue, shall we? Path continues past the stone monument. Let's not go there yet. So that's the coffee Midori was in. Hi Hayasaka. Anzu. Mai. Kiramata. Ramaru. And Hanako. Well, I guess there's only one place to go. We don't have, like, a movement thing on the bottom here. So let's uh, head past the stone. Uh, I don't have a voice for our other guy either. I, I don't know his name just yet, but the guy we're paired up with, uh, I can't seem to find a voice for him. So I'll just try to give him uh, something. What? I see some kind of gate. Not sure whether we're inside or outside anymore. Yeah, that's a good question. It's like everything's dark. There's a piece of paper stuck into the gate. It's got some drawings on it. Uh, is this a floor map? So you have the cemetery. You have this area. You have a boxing, a wrestling ring? Boxing ring? Uh, an el elevator with, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Is that like a bathroom? Um, your guess is good as mine down there. Uh, you'll guess it goes mine. I was assume this is an elevator, but that looks like an elevator. Maybe that's like a unisex bathroom, and this is the elevator. And then we got a gallery of some kind. Looks like a bunch of Bulbasaurs fighting each other. How generous. Never got anything like this before. Hmm. He must be quite confident that we won't be able to kill him. Oh, where are we now? I wonder. Hmm. Looking at the map, it looks like this is our current location. Yeah, because these are the stairs we went up into the cemetery and then we're here. So it looks like we'll have a choice to go left or right. Uh, man, though, uh, some dicey looking rooms here. But if we use this, we won't get lost. Think positive, Kyutaro. Uh, hmm, yeah, I guess so. Obtain a floor map. We still have these things, by the way is interesting who was number two now michi have we met now michi yet 
Like, these were people- Oh, wait. Now, Michi, you must have been someone that was killed... ...in a room with someone else in it. Hmm. It's interesting that we still have this in our inventory. The large gate is shut fast. Is it locked, maybe? The yellow posts are electrified. Can't even try to hop over. Yeah, I see those now. These back here. I was trying to click on this thing. But I guess that's electrified too. Okay, move. Ooh. Now this is cool. Instead of saying like, you know, where would you like to move to? It's actually giving us pictures. But these are grayed out because we gotta go this way. Well, you know me. I always like to say left is right. Even though this looks really more appealing to me, whatever this is, uh, I'm gonna stick by my mantra. Left is always right. Go left in every game if you can first. Uh, wonder what this place is. Ranmaru. That's the guy I don't have a voice for. Hmm. He's a high school student. Uh, ooh. I'll just go with whatever pops in my head. Uh, do you think it's a bathroom? Uh, kind of shady, meow. Don't want to go in, wolf. Eh, holding you in is bad for your health. Ah, but we don't have to go anymore, so lucky us. That's kind of dark. Uh, don't say stuff that's uh, hard to respond to. You're making it awkward. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the door is firmly shut. It won't open. Huh, that's not good. Huh. Sucks for the humans. There's a symbol that looks like people. Is it a bathroom? All right. Interesting. I do like how we can just instantly go anywhere now. I, I, I think I complained about that in the previous chapter. I, it's kind of tedious to click on this place and then this place and then this place. Uh, having the pictures is so much better. Uh, good. With this place. Uh, well, what's the matter? It looks like the gym I used to go to. Uh, is it just a coincidence, Meow? I uh, don't know. But if they're gonna make us fight another monster, then bring it on. I'm never gonna lose a one-on-one -on -one here. So it excites your boxer spirit? I was feared as the one and only convertible of destruction. Ah, here, here she is. Okay, come on, let's think. Um, I mean, let's just not go with the spooky voice. Let's just go with a female voice that... I mean, she looks like she's... I don't know. Um, she She's like... She's a clown in her previous life, but I don't know what that would sound like. Uh, so maybe she's happy and peppy? You know, she's kind of got that vibrant attitude to her. So, um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, what kind of alias is that? Uh, were you bullied? Uh, what do you mean? Um, uh, nine. Uh, hey, let's search. All right, I'm gonna go with that. I, I don't know if that's a previous voice I've used or whatever, but... You know, uh, this sounds like good. It's sort of peppy and happy and also kind of, you know, hiding in a way because I wear a mask. I'm a clown. Yeah, I'll go with it. <laughs> You'll have to let me know. <laughs> it's not the spooky voice. Uh, the floor of the ring is sturdy. Nothing suspicious here. Post in the corner. Looks like the lip from within. By the way, who is... Naomichi is the boxer. He's Kiramata. Oh! Oh, I'm so dumb. I I'm an idiot. Um, for some reason, when I saw the name Naomichi, I was thinking of now again. So I was expecting a female. Uh, yeah, he he's a boxer. He's actually second here on the ranking list. Wow, I, I, oh man. Yes, you would feel comfortable in here. Brightness is a boxing ring. It may not be a boxing ring, maybe a wrestling ring. In which case, we know uh, from watching UFC that boxers who try to get into the UFC usually lose because once you get grappled, it's over. Because the boxer doesn't know how to defend against martial arts like that. Most boxers I've seen. I could be wrong. I'm just saying that's most. Where do we go? It's dark inside. I can't see anything. Oh, there's a passage on the other side. Okay. Never mind. By the way, did that look like a face to you? Now it's just like eyes staring at you. What? The passage? 
Uh, hey, the entrance disappeared too. You mean we're locked in? Something's starting. Careful, everybody. Uh, fine by me. I'll blow him away. Whoa, it's the lights. Ah, I hear something from the walls. Guys, get up on the mat. It's a spooky. What? Yeah? Uh, what in me? What's this? There's liquid pouring from those windows. Uh, it's magma, Wolf. We're gonna be melted. Meow. You gotta be kidding me. So it's not gonna be a monster? What do we even do about this? Seems like your fort, Sarah. And by the way, yes, the, the proper, I had a English teacher who, uh, in uh, high school, if you were to say certain words in class, he would stop his entire lesson and go on like a five minute rant about the proper way to say a word. But this was one of the words that he would rant about because the word forte actually is a word that doesn't exist. It's a word that was invented by Hollywood and because it was invented by Hollywood, it was then added to the dictionary. Uh, but the actual word is fort, uh, with E being silent. So, yeah, that's just one of those intricacies that you learn from weird teachers at school. Huh? Just take a look around the room. Use your sharp eyes to identify anything suspicious. Anything suspicious? Then let your friendly policeman and company be your arms and legs to solve this puzzle. Understood. I'll try. Okay. So I see a knife indentation. And when I see kitchen knives, once again, I'm thinking of Silent Hill 2. <laughs> because we found a knife of Angela that looks very similar to that. Uh, we also have this like power cord running here. Liquid is streaming and forcefully beneath the ring. Okay. What should I do? Uh, hold on. Uh, I know, meow. I'll check the floor real close, meow. That's a good idea, because we got a power cord here. A cord? It's connected to the back left post. Strange shadow on the ground. What's the shadow? Is there something on the ceiling? Uh, I knew. This is a boxing ring, right? Maybe if we duke it out together, the puzzle gets solved. No, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a bad idea. Uh, we could let Jin search, but we kind of see what's going on here. Uh, but we don't know where this power cord goes, so maybe if we let him search. Oh, I love the animations. It's adorable. Sorry, big sis Sarah. The floor is normal. Woof. No tricks there, huh? Alright. How are the liquids rising? Huh. A trap to kill us all together. I mustn't die here. It's okay. We'll figure this out. Let's inspect the cord. What? The back left post has some sort of power cord on it. Uh, hey, hey, you, uh, find something? Perfect, Ramaru, check that power cord over there. Animations are amazing, I love it. Whoa, the post lit up. I see, it's being lit from within. The other posts are going the same way. Now, this is kind of suspicious. That's true. Alright, I'll check this post some more, Sarah. You think of a plan in the meantime. All right, the high liquid is slowly rising. It's okay, Sarah. I know you can solve this room. Point out anything you think is suspicious. Only you can get everybody moving. Yes, yes. Uh, I think we need to check this next. The fact that there's a shadow here means something is blocking the lights. I'll take a look at the ceiling. There's a knife stuck to the ceiling. There really is. It'll be dangerous if it fails. Oh, is it a trap? Nah, don't you think we need it for this uh, puzzle? That's possible. But what even Kutar isn't tall enough to reach that. Uh, anybody got any ideas? How about someone stand on your shoulders and you like lift them up? The level's risen. Ha ha ha, this is bad. Okay, Um. let's see. That's magma, like Jin says. It should still give off light in the dark. 
I don't know what inspecting would do for that, though. The liquid gets to the stage, that'll be dangerous. A knife is stuck to the ceiling. Alright. We could, we could save our game, I forgot about that. I'm used to having, like, the save box on the left side. Um, I don't know how to observe yet, because we've observed quite a lot. Uh, might be able to reach it if I jump off the ropes. I don't think so. Uh, switch on the back left post. Could be a good idea. No, we're not boxing. Uh, I'll hit it with a shoe. Huh. It's kind of a long shot, though. I'd rather go with the... I'd rather go with the... The things that look more plausible. It looks like by pressing the switch, you can change the color of the post. What color should you change it to? Um... I don't know? Uh... Okay, this is my only thought, and this is the only thing I have to go with, even though the colors don't fully match up. These top ropes are red. These are green, these are blue, these are yellow. But then we have green, yellow, green, green, and yellow, red. So this could be yellow, or could be green. But there's no green here, so I'm gonna go with yellow. Is this color right? Yes. Thanks, Ramar, that'll do. Wait, roger that. Darn it, the heck can we do about this? Um... See, I don't know what that did. Okay, this is a long shot, but let... Oh, how does the knife help us? Ooh... Thinking. That'll probably let me change the colors. What's more possible, him jumping off the ropes or her throwing a shoe? Her throwing a shoe. I mean, you're a clown. You, you should be, like, well used at juggling and doing other tricks, right? <laughs> that was great. Ah, no good. Ah, couldn't hit it at all. My hands are shaking for the pressure. I can't bear this kind of tension. Relax, relax, take a deep breath. Let's think of another approach, okay? All right. At any rate, better not ask Anzu to do anything right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we just wasted a turn. There must be a hint to solving this in the room. What is... This was the magma. If this were magma, this room would surely be a lot harder right now. I'll investigate what it really is. This isn't magma at all. Uh, what? Is that the truth? I'm not sure what it actually is, but it seems no problem if you touch it. So even if the level rises, it should be fine? Hold on a sec. Humans might be fine, but what about us? That's true. Are we properly waterproofed? Uh, could be bad if there's an electric shock. Uh, that ain't funny. We'll all be screwed too. You're all so unreliable. Well, I've got an idea. Your idea isn't to throw one of the dolls in there, is it? Oh, goodness gracious. The liquid has flooded onto the stage. Meow, it's up to my feet. Well, if the liquid isn't magma, I'll hop off the ring and inspect the walls. All right, go with it. Just as I devised it, I've discovered a switch on the wall and I will oppress it. Ha ha ha, it appears the flow has stopped. That'll slow the speed of the liquid. It's your turn, Sarah Chidone. Solve this puzzle within 10 seconds. Yeah, that's, that's, um, not gonna work. Anymore, and we're in trouble. Finish this, Miss Sarah. Um. Do these colors mean something? Maybe I should try touching them. Are there different colored ropes a hint to the puzzle? I'll grab them and investigate. 
These ropes, some of them are soft and some are hard. Uh, there's two types of ropes, meow. Why, Wolf? Not sure about that part. Uh, could there be something inside them? Then, should we open up the ropes to look inside? Well, but I doubt the hard ropes can be cut, even with something sharp. Perhaps we should try cutting the soft ropes, at least. It's possible with the proper tool. Oh! I can't put my thoughts together. Uh, dang it. Wait, what's going to happen to us? The liquid, it's rising so fast. We're gonna drown! When my feet can't touch the bottom, what should I? Ah! Uh... Wow, that's... That's grim. Yeah, that that's kind of grim. Uh, the liquid gradually filled the room. We headed upward, seeking air. By the time it was all full, hope had been closed to us. We just all drown. Well, hey, that's 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 the way things could end. We we drown in the room. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I saved early enough in this. First step is we should probably inspect that. And then what we should do is we should have him close it off. And then maybe have Kaiji try to get the uh, knife. I mean, we haven't tried that yet, right? Boing! Yep, got you now, knife. You really got it? Holy cow, you seriously got it that way? Now that's impressive. Flying that far with uh, piss poor elastic ropes. Oh yeah, as far as my expectations, they seem pretty bouncy. Now the question is how to use that knife. Gotta have an epiphany. Sarah found this precious item for us after all. Okay, now we... It's already flooding inwards. Gotta cut the ropes. Okay. It should have been a restart puzzle option because... I don't think we saved at the appropriate time. The high liquid was slowly rising. Ropes. I'll use a knife to cut through the, like the bread. Go with it. I slice it up nicely, Sarah. She looks lackadaisical, but she works fast. Ah, huh? the four posts got colored in. Seems the ropes themselves are power cords, and cutting the extraneous cords made them light up to the proper colors. I don't get it. What's that mean? It means we're probably getting closer to the solution of the puzzle. Exactly, these posts in this puzzle. The colors must be hiding the answer. Ha, I was right, it is yellow. You see, red, green, blue. Blue, blue, green, green. Yeah, this is definitely yellow. Any more, I'm in trouble. Finish this, Miss Sarah. Um, yeah, I need you to make that yellow. Were we really that close to solving it the first time? All we had to do was if we would have let Kaiji jump instead of Anzu try to throw a shoe, we would have gotten this on the first try. Well, that's all right. I like that. I like a challenge. Thanks for Mara, that'll do. Uh, budget that. Excellent. Besides, because I died, uh, I probably have my thumbnail. <laughs> It looks very much, by the way, uh, the, the picture of her drowning looks very much like uh, Terminator 2, uh, where, you know, the Terminator's sticking into the magma, and, you know, he's got his thumb up. Ah, ah. Did we solve it? Bravo, Sarah. Uh, is everybody okay? Ah, uh, ah, uh, where's Hinako? Ah, uh, you don't mean... Um, I'm right here. Don't startle me. If you go too far away, your collar will explode, you know. 
Ha ha ha. No need to be that cautious. The pair of colors can go as far as the room apart. Oh, and where'd you hear that? Yeah, where'd you hear that at? Huh? Didn't Midori tell you? Oh, the dots. Hey, you got a sec. Seems to me there's a difference in what information you guys have got. Oh, come to think of it. Why would that be? Midori talked to us together. Maybe that's the info you heard, but also memories you were programmed with. So on top of the shared info, you were each given special knowledge. Uh, special knowledge? Are you serious? Well, don't hide it, dang it. Tell us. I mean, how do we know what's special info? Right, it's best to pretend we don't know for now. Each of us has been given unique value. That's how it is, right, Sarah Senpai? This one seems like very soft-spoken. I mean, just the whole looks of this character is like, you know, I like to hide in the shadows and not be front-ended, um, not be in the front. I don't think in terms of value, that's exactly right. I'm not so sure about that. I don't think in terms of value. Unique value? Hanako, we aren't viewing you with a calculating eye like that. Oh, the dots. We're all victims, aren't we? Human or doll? It doesn't matter. Oh, the dots. Hey, you're a master. It's pretty cool, eh? Oh, the dots. Um, uh, should we go to the next room? Right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Oh boy. All right. Save. <laughs> Gallery room. Oh, this is a sick room. No. Oh, man. I'm immediately looking at... Oh. Oh, this is a horrible room. This is, uh... This is Kana's sister. Getting crushed. There's now. Um, that looks like Kai with the cut wrist. There's Joe. So, what are the other pictures? Oh, the dots. Bah, it's one thing after another. Some real poor taste here. Tell me about it. With the ticking clock. A painting of an execution. This is the same device that was used for my and Kana's first trial. Oh, the dots. Don't, Kana. Over here. Yes, yes. A painting of now. This is an edited photo. What would you make this for? Why, an outrageous thing to do. Alice. I've always regretted my murder. Yet someone who would think of this should have le been left to die. I'll bury you again and again, Midori. A painting with an unpainted section. I can see borderlines. It's like a coloring book picture. Is this Anzu? Because of the different colors here? A painting of some scenery. Painting of someone in a painful state falling to the ground. Scenery. Scenery. Woman collapsed in a pool of blood. This seems somehow familiar. A painting of a woman collapsed in a pool of blood. That's weird. I clicked on this one. And it went to that one. Painting of Joe. Sarah, don't look. I am alright. I won't be led astray by things like this anymore. Even so, I don't want you to look. Painting of So with a wide smile. Poor So. So. I wonder, why is this painting, why this painting is here? Kana. Kana wishes she could have seen him like this. All smiling and happy, yeah. All the dots. Painting of blood pouring from a hand. Yeah, that's something like Kai. Scenery. And this is uh, the real So, right? Midori. Yeah, that's Shin. We'll, we'll still call him So, though. We'll call him Midori. 
I'm not a painting. Midori, how are you feeling? Anybody die? Another AI, I bet. Nope, just a video call. I observe all the floors. Hmm, how cheap. Why don't you come see us, fair and square, coward? Just as dumb as your sister, Alice. I wanna win too, you know? You, don't you dare say that again. Anyway, do you want something with us? Ah, uh, right, right. I thought I'd give you some advice. Soon enough, I want you all to know. Know what? Oh, just everything. Your lost memories with me and... The reason Asunaro is having you kill each other, too. Asunaro? Is that new? I don't remember that name popping up. Asunaro. Write that down. All the exclamation dots? Huh. Then spit it all out to already. I want a good explanation. Is Asunaro our dad? Probably isn't, because in Japanese culture, it's usually common to refer to someone with a last name, correct? So Asunaro is probably someone's last name, not their first. Although I'm assuming stuff here. Ah, it'd be a waste for me to say it. Meow, which one is it, Wolf? Didn't I tell you, just go down your own power. It's all right, I've prepared hints. Within the floor, I've made a few places that are rich with memories for you all. The key is remembering your past. Mm ah, -hmm. uh, yes, and this murder game, of course, has a time limit as well. Meow. It's until the dummies run out of battery. In other words, it's the lifespan. Uh, how, how many hours do we have? If it runs out, will our lives? I've got high hopes for you. Good luck. Uh, no, no, see here. That's cruel. So the dolls that are with us are going to expire no matter what we do. The painting went motionless. <laughs> Such absurdity. Still, that confirms it. The organization that kidnapped us was Asunado. I think I have heard this name before. It's just been a while. Like, there, there was something earlier on that was said. Asunaro. Uh, that's right, his orphanage. That Yes, we have heard this before. Uh, my orphanage was named Asunaro too. Uh, is there a connection after all? Who knows? Was there anything dubious about it? Uh, dunno. Everybody was uh, real friendly, like, and I mean it. You wanna wanna think about it? That the good people around you might have been involved in this death game? Especially since you just said you need to think about your past, right? Uh, let's search. There are hints somewhere on this floor. That's right. It's time for action, not worrying. Kana wants to know too. I don't always seem to know so, after all. Uh, yeah. Midori's painting isn't moving anymore. Okay. So we can go to the next room. Drop a save first. Interesting. He said each room has like something connected to one's past. Hmm. Elevators. Uh, how far do these go? Meow. Huh? They, they don't seem to be working. The doors are firmly shut. They can't be opened by force. The buttons do nothing. Is it not powered? Hmm. So is this a battery room? No, it's a safe room. And I don't mean safe room as in we're safe. I mean a literal safe. All the dots. Uh, is this a locker room? Yeah. Or a locker room. Yeah, that works too. Uh, shitty, please. I uh, tell you what. Careful searching here, Sarah. Huh? Right. There's a black stain on the floor. Did something drip down here? The locker is open. Nothing is inside. 
Nothing's inside there either. Protrusions like shelves. I wonder if there's something on these. Can't you look? Doesn't seem to be. Oh my gosh, I just realized there's like blood on the ceiling. There's a red stain on the ceiling. Is that a blood stain? No doubt about it. Kaiji. Why on the ceiling? Why is there blood on the ceiling? To know, but it's not dripping now. Does the whole room turn? Sort of like that Silent Hill 2 puzzle where like the room turns if you mess with a cube. It probably got cleaned up. Plus, sometimes passed. <laughs> what happened in this room? Meow. I'm betting some trap or another activated, already activated in here. Did someone come to this room? And quite some time ago at that. Medoi? First trial? First trial. Was this room used for a first trial? Could be. Despite that, the dummies aren't really showing any reactions to it. I was thinking it was one of them, but... Right, because they were all shown their death video, right? Yeah, surely they'd be startled to see the room they died in. Meow. I don't want to be here. Wolf. I hear you, Jen. I don't want to be here either. As he says, there's a blood stain that was cleaned up some time ago. Black stain on the floor. Nothing in the lockers. Nothing in the shelves. Hmm. So, what do we do? Sarah, you done searching here? Yes, I don't see anything else of note. Uh, in that case, means we've searched all the rooms on the floor map. <laughs> Where did that Midori hide? A few places we couldn't go to. Well, what should we do? Hey, just an idea, but maybe we could split up and search in pairs. We've seen all the traps in the rooms. More efficient than searching as a big group, right? He's right, and we do have a time limit. Uh, we should really all stay together because splitting the party never ends well. But we do have a time limit. Uh, I don't like this idea. Every single D&D &D game I've ever played is screaming out to me to not press this button. Alright, let's search separately. Right, now you're talking. Kana has to go with this person? Too bad. I'm no good at babysitting. Neither. We need an adult here. Alice, you protect Kana. What? You would have me look after her. Just my specialty. So you respect my brotherly ability, Kaiji Shinogi. I like how I take that as a compliment. He's come a long way. Oh, oh yeah. Sarah, you got a minute. Yes? Kaiji got close to my ear. You should keep an air on what the pairs do. All the dots? I understand. Ha ha ha. I see. What are you talking about? Let's get going, Sarah. Right. Okay, splitting the party. Wonderful. How are you guys doing? Uh, being with Mai is getting me down sometimes. Kitaro? Uh, do your best. Do your best. Your life depends on it. Hey, well, of course, I'm gonna focus. Master! Won't you give me a piggyback ride to check the upper ones? Uh, the dots. Yeah, please don't flirt with her either. <laughs> Can we do that? Don't get flirty, please. Please don't get flirty. Uh, I ain't. You tell that to my. Master, don't get chatty. You have to search. <laughs> oh, I can't choose the other option now. Be sure to check even the unopened lockers. Keep an eye out for traps, will you? Of course. I don't want to be destroyed. Uh, how's you guys' endurance, anyhow? Are you uh, sturdier than us? No idea. 
don't want to really test, either. If only they made use of some super ally. If only they made us of some super ally. There'd be no worry of dying. Eh? I wouldn't want to be all stiff. I mean, look, my skin's all soft. Please, Sarah, go ahead and touch my cheek. Uh, um, um, give her a rub. All right, I'll give him a rub. Ah, uh, that there. It's true, your shoulders don't feel stiff at all. No way. I'm healthier than I was as a human. Now that I think about it, we won't age or get sick anymore either, huh? No, but you will die if your battery runs out, which apparently is a thing that can happen. Wow. Isn't that just the best? Being a doll's not so bad, actually. How positive. On that note, we really, we really can end a Your Turn to Die playthrough on a positive note. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. I am the Flightless Bear. This is your story based game channel. And this is our blind let's play of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. Uh, thank you for everything, you guys. I really love you so very much. Uh, woke up this morning with a ton of comments from my last video, and that means a lot to me. I, you can't, I can't tell you how big of a smile I get every single time I log in and see that someone cared enough about what we did to post a comment. Because liking a video should just be an easy click, but to go the extra effort and actually say what they thought is just wonderful. And I don't care if it's good or bad. Give me all your feedback, it's, it's okay. Uh, let's have fun together, let's grow together, and let's be positive and good to one another. Until next time, my friends, take care of yourself, take care of those around you. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.